Hi, it's Jessie from Peach Manifesto, and I recently posted a picture of these nails on Instagram, and um, everybody really liked them and wanted a tutorial. Um, and I'm kind of embarrassed to post this tutorial because it's super, super easy. Uh, so I am just gonna flip the camera around and get started, and you'll see why I'm like, this is so, so easy. Uh, but anyway, hope you enjoy. So let's start off with some supplies for this look. We're starting off with Accents Gel Play Paint White. Um, I normally use titanium for a lot of looks, which is a brighter white, but I kind of like that this is a softer white, gives a more natural look. And then the Gel Play Paint Brown as well. Um, I sort of came up with this look because I was like, I haven't used these two colors in a long time. Let's play around with them and see what I can do. I also used a kind of a smaller brush. Uh, I found it worked really well. And then the accents matte on um, really gives a nice matte finish. So this is where we start. We basically just dip into our paint white. You want to cover the full nail. This is a pretty um, thick um, coverage gel. Um, it's full coverage, but it is thicker because it is meant more for art, but you can definitely use this for full coverage. I do anyway. Um, and as you can see, it covered really well. There's like a couple little streaks where the paintbrush was, but that doesn't really matter. So we're going in with our brush that already still has white on it and dipping in to a little bit of brown. And I kind of just decided which angle I wanted to come from and I'm kind of just throwing it on there haphazardly in the direction I want. As you can see, nothing special about that. And then I'm just pulling it with my brush a few times and you're starting to get that design you like. You can pull away a little bit more brown if you have too much. And then because we have kind of white, that thick white everywhere and white on the brush, you can just pull it around and then you'll get the white where you want. And I'm just making sure that I have the lines going in the right direction at the end there. And that's pretty much how I like it. Um, I try and float it, if you will, so it's not too lumpy. But I do go in with like a thicker coat of matte top coat anyway. Um, this is like a thicker coat. It's not runny. Um, so it does kind of cover up any like slight imperfections that are left there because of the paint. And because that was so, so quick... I decided to do another one for you just to show you um, it's slightly different and this is a wipe matte top coat I kind of prefer them I feel like they last a bit longer um, and they're a little bit more matte but that's my opinion if you have a tack free matte that you love you go for it so again just going in with the white and doing full coverage on the nail um, I decanted a little bit of the brown on you could do it on a tile but I have those uh, Johans like kind of pull pad things um, just because I don't want to contaminate my gels I see a lot of people showing tutorials and they're fully contaminating their colors their gels mixing um, different products with different things and that's horrifying to me as like a working nail tech because um, I've had stuff get contaminated and that's just like you know, a $20 uh, bottle of product that you've just like have to throw in the garbage um, because you never know what other product is going to do to your product. So decant your stuff. Um, and again, like I still had white on my brush and I'm just picking up a little bit of that brown and I'm running it through. I kind of wanted to show you like a little bit of a lighter version, um, but if I wanted to, I could have taken some more of that brown and went further up the nail and continued that kind of more shell look. But this is a little bit of a softer look um, and I really like it. So I just go ahead and cure that. I should mention because it is the gel paint and I'm working a little bit thicker. I do a 60 second cure instead of a 30 second cure and then I just do my normal top coat routine and uh, cure like normal just 30 seconds in my lamp and a uh, fuzz it's like the bane of all nail tags right and then yeah I just top coat that and um kind of just make sure that I'm like correcting any like little imperfections that I can see in my light line and it's really pretty I go ahead and wipe that and 
it is so pretty a little bit of a softer look than the other ones and I just kind of wanted to show you um, how everything compares when I put it up to the kind of set that I did so this is the set that I did the other day I threw little crystals on there as you can see the first one totally fits in really well the second one still fits in but it's a little bit lighter right so you can customize this to how you like you can stop as much as you want or play as much as you want that's the fun thing about the gel paints um anyway thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and we will see you all later bye bye